Everybody believes in religion, even in Iceland. One. Friend, if you died today, where would your soul spend eternity? If you died right now, would you have eternal life? The Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that's in Christ Jesus, whom God has set forth to be the propitiation through faith in His blood. A propitiation is simply satisfying the wrath of God. God has got wrath. The Bible says, He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. See, when you don't believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, it would be really absurd to not believe on Jesus because he offers you everlasting life, forgiveness of sins, and reconciliation to God. You could be reconciled to God, but the problem is, most people don't think they need reconciliation to God. They think that me and the man upstairs are good. Me and, me and the guy upstairs are good. The problem is you're not good with the man upstairs. And who's the man upstairs anyways? We're talking about the holy creator of the universe. And he requires absolute perfection. And none of us, none of us are sinless. That's why you need Jesus Christ. Come on, going to church doesn't save you. Being a good person doesn't save you. None of us are good. I raise my hand right here, right now. I am not a good person and neither are you. We can put it to the test right now. Have you ever told a lie? If you told a lie, that equals you not being a good person. We've all told lies and it means you're not a good person. But the Bible says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So there's only one way to get eternal life. There's only one way to get forgiveness of sins. Friend, you need Jesus Christ today. He is the savior of the world. The Bible says in John chapter three, verse 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth in him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says in John 3, 19, and this is the condemnation, that light is coming to the world, but men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. You know why people won't trust in Jesus Christ? Because they love their darkness. You know why people won't believe on the Savior? Because they love their sin. You know why people just won't believe on the one who died on the cross for them so they can have eternal life? It's because they reject him. They don't want to be told what to do. They don't want to be told how to live their lives. So they reject the only one that can save them from their sins. And that's a bad move. That is a bad choice. Jesus loves you and he's willing to forgive every sin you've ever committed. It doesn't matter what dirt you've done in your life. It doesn't matter what sin you've committed in your life. Jesus Christ is willing to forgive you. He loves you. That's why he died and he paid the price you and I could not pay. He suffered the wrath of God for you and for me so that you and I would not have to die in our sin. Jesus didn't die on the cross because you're a good person. He died because you're not a good person. Jesus didn't die because I was a good person. He died because I'm a filthy sinner and I need his mercy like you need his mercy. I need his grace like you need his grace. Would you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved from your sins? I'm not talking about partake of a mass. I'm not talking about bow down to Mother Mary. I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about the sinless Savior wants a relationship with you you. Would you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved from your sins? And the Bible says in Romans chapter 10 verse 9, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, 
thou shalt be saved. The Bible never said if you were a good person, you'd be saved from your sins. The Bible never said if you go to church, you'll be saved from your sins. The Bible never says if you're religious, you'll go to heaven. The Bible says you must believe and agree with God that you're a sinner. And he's the only one that can save you from your sins. And it's by the grace and mercy of God through Jesus dying on the cross for your sins and his resurrection on the third day. So you could, you could be justified from your sins. Would you do that today? Would you believe on him? Would you trust in him? That's how easy it is to get saved. But you know what? Most people will tell you it's too easy to believe that. Therefore, it's not true. They say, oh, all I got to do is believe on Jesus and I'm saved from my sins. That's too easy, so it can't be true. And God said, this thing is called faith. The faith in Hebrews 11:6 6 says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Would you seek the Lord today while he may be found? Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon. Oh friend, the Lord Jesus Christ is willing to pardon you of every sin you've ever committed if you would put your faith and trust in him. The problem is just because you think you're a good person or you see yourself as a good person, that's not the standard that God's going to go by. He's going to go by the standard of Jesus Christ. Jesus, who never sinned. Jesus, who has always been righteous. And none of us can measure up to Jesus Christ. So when you put yourself next to Jesus, that's the standard that God's going to look at. And none of us can stand next to Jesus and say, I've done all things right in my life. And I can stand next to Jesus and say, I'm better than Jesus. Nobody can do that. That's why you need Jesus Christ. That's why he's what we call the substitutionary atonement. He's the one that got on the cross. Your pastor didn't get on a cross. Your religion didn't get on a cross. Your friends didn't get on a cross. Your rap star didn't get on a cross. It's Jesus Christ, the creator of the world, who died on a cross for your sins and rose again the third day so you could be saved by his finished work on the cross. Would you believe on him? That's the question. That's the choice. Just because Jesus died for the whole world doesn't mean everybody's saved. You got to believe. You got to put your faith and your trust in him. Would you do that? That's a choice that has to come from you. This is what we call volition. It's what we call free will. You got to take your free will. And just because you got it, just because Jesus gave it to you, doesn't mean you're automatically saved. You got to take that will, that free will, that volition and put your faith and your trust in Jesus Christ before it's too late. You say, well, preacher, when is it too late? When you breathe your last breath? When you die without Jesus, it'll be too late. Yes, there's still life in that soul. There's still life inside that corpse. Once you die, that soul leaves that corpse and it goes to one of two places, heaven or hell, depending on what you do with Jesus Christ. My friend, I care about you, but me caring about you cannot save you. You've got to take your free will and do something with the information that's given to you today out of the Holy Bible. And the Bible says if you would simply believe and trust that Jesus died for your sins and rose again the third day, you could be saved from your sins. That's what saves you. Being a good person don't save you. Going to church, getting baptized, speaking in tongues, none of that saves you. My friend, you must believe. You must put your faith and your trust in Jesus Christ. Friend, I'm out here because I want you to be saved. When Paul in, in the book of Acts went out to Mars Hill, he wanted those people to be saved. And you know what he preached? He never preached, if you make enough money, you'll go to heaven. He never preached, if you're rich or you keep some kind of a, a higher status in life, you're going to go to heaven when you die. If you're successful in life and you live a good, basically good life and you got a wife and kids and you're doing good in your life, that you're going to go to heaven. That's a devil's lie. You'll not get there. You might have lived a good life in that respect, but you'll not get to heaven. You must put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. That's why he died. 
He didn't die because you're good. He didn't die because you're holy. He didn't die because you're righteous. He didn't die because I'm holy. He didn't die because I'm righteous. He died because you and I are sinners and you and I need his forgiveness. Jesus died for your sins. He rose again the third day so you could have forgiveness of sins. The problem today is too many people believe in the devil's lie. You say, what's the devil's lie? That I'm a good person, and as long as I'm a good person, I'm going to go to heaven when I die. That's a devil's lie right there. You'll not get there. You need to be in church, ma'am, too. Amen. Amen. What you doing out here? Preaching church when you're out here. <laughs> Jesus saves. Jesus saves. I'm at church right now. There's a believer right there. A believer over there and a believer right there. Where two or more gathered in my name, there am I in the midst. I'm having church right now. Amen. So you want to question my church going? Here it is. I'm obedient. Amen. Praise the Lord. Jesus saves sin and slaves. Friend, I want you to be saved. But what I want and what you want may be two totally different things. I want you to be saved, my friend. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. You know what Jesus said in Luke 13, 3 in the Bible? He said, except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. I didn't say that, Jesus said that. Jesus said, if you don't believe on him, you're gonna perish. Does anybody think Jesus didn't say that? What do you know? I got a holy Bible right here in my back pocket. I can show it to you in Luke 13, 3. So what else did Jesus talk about? Jesus preached on hell more than any other doctrine in the Bible. Yes, he did. Anybody want to dispute that fact? Read Mark chapter 9. Jesus preached on weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. I don't want you to have that. I don't want anybody to weep and wail and gnash their teeth. I don't want anybody to die in a fire. Nobody has to go to hell. Nobody has to die in their sins. If you believe in Jesus Christ, not Mother Mary, if you believe in Jesus Christ, You'll be saved from your sins. That's what saves you. What Jesus did on the cross. Now, if you read in the Gospels, the four Gospels, if you know what those are, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the four Gospels teach that when Jesus died on the cross and he said his last words, he said, it is finished. He didn't say it's begun. He didn't say it started. I'm going to start a religion. He didn't do that. He said, it's finished. Every good deed you could ever do isn't going to amount to heaven. Every good thing you could ever do in your life isn't going to amount to heaven. you got to put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ and in Him alone. That's the only way to be saved from your sins. A lot of people died today that were a lot younger than you are. They didn't think they were going to die, but they died. And what they did with Jesus Christ would have determined their eternal destiny. Heaven or hell. That's two places. Hell is not a parable. Hell is not a figment of somebody's imagination. Hell is not a parody. Hell is real. It's a real place where real people go that reject Jesus Christ. My friend to you, my friend, I'm saying to you today, believe and trust in Jesus Christ for the salvation of your soul. That's the only way. You must humble yourself. And the Bible says, if you humble yourself, he'll lift you up. He'll lift you up. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. Believe, trust, put your faith in Jesus Christ. The Bible says in John eleven twenty five, 25, I am the resurrection and the life. That's the Lord Jesus Christ. He says, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. I want you to live today. I don't want you to just have existence. 